as a child, we, we still had cattle and horses. It was a mixed farm, a true mixed farm. So that we were responsible for doing the, especially the evening chores when we got home from school. We had to feed the chickens and the pigs. And I, my job was to feed the horses and clean out their stalls and bed them. And the other brother did the, did the pigs and the chickens and another brother did the, did the cows. In the morning, my dad did most of the chores. We didn't have to go out in the morning. Oftentimes in the summer or in spring, we grew asparagus at the time because the cannery at St. David's canned asparagus. So it was our job as kids to get up and cut asparagus before we went to school. So we always had something to do. And Other than that, we, we had time. I was allowed time to go and play play ball. and I played, I played fastball for... For Niagara on the Lake at one point, and we were allowed to. My older brothers weren't that keen on playing ball, but I was the younger one, so I guess I got off a little easier. Uh, we only had we only had about three or four milking cows, but they were essentially milking, uh, and they veiled calves. They it was fairly common on a lot of the small mixed farms here in Niagara that you would you would feed the, you would have calves and maybe buy a day old calf from some of the people who were dairy people and didn't need that extra calf and then you would have it fed by your own cows and and they were sold as veal and uh, during the second world war we we made milk we made butter and sold butter in the city of Niagara Falls and we had an egg route and we had to go to market with with our mother each each Saturday and so this is another another job that we all did throughout the family as it became your turn to to be doing these sorts of things. But it it was a true mixed farm. We didn't become straight fruit until in the in the late fifties, I would say.